hello YouTube welcome back to my video in this video I'm going to show you how you can read an outlook uh, message uh, using Java okay so uh, basically I'm going to show you a outlook message which is saved in a dot msd format and uh, how we can uh, access the complete information of that this you the sender uh, the two uh, email ID CC BCC the body and the attachment everything okay so for demonstration I have collected uh, three message files here as you can see here first one is the holiday advisory and uh, second one is this one and third one is this one let me open this and show you what is inside so so the first message is a, a small mail uh, only this uh, data is the but you can see here there is a lot of two email address and a cc email address and that attachment okay and same way the next one is also you can see here it is came to this email id and this, uh, this is the content of that and there is one attachment for this one and same way this is a purely html email so we'll be reading this one also okay yes let's try that now let's try uh, reading this one using a simple java program okay so i have my eclipse id open here i'll be uh, starting a, a new simple java project here so select as new java project and search for java and select java project i'm giving uh, the name of the project as uh, read msg okay and just press enter and uh, yes click ok and you can see here the java project has been created okay so i'm going uh, straight forward i'm going uh, directly going to create a package here com dot dot com and inside that i'm going to create a new class okay i'm giving the name class name as uh, read msg okay and now we are uh, going to write the program inside this one by giving a main method inside and we are in need of three java files to read a message outlook message okay so i have already collected the java files here so these are the three java files so i am going to uh, import these three java files directly into the class path so for that just right click on uh, the read message and you can see here uh in the build path we can see a configure build path and here in the library section you have to add that just okay just click on add external jars and then navigate where you have your jars here so i'm just pasting my location here and these three are my jar we have to import just click open and all these three will be imported here okay now just press ok and in the reference library you can see uh, these three jars okay now we'll go for uh, writing the code to read the outlook message you have to create a message parser object so it's like msg parser okay so it's from uh, this package com auxily message parser dot message parser okay and give a name here message p is equal to new message parser okay now we have to create a message object so it will be like message it's also from a msg parser msg is equal to ms you uh, from the message parser we can uh, pass a message here so it's like pass message and we have to get uh, the path of uh, the message inside this okay so uh, the folder where we have our files our msg file that is a path of uh, the file just copy it from here come back to the uh, program paste the path here okay now uh, this will be uh, we have to change this as a backslash double backslash as uh, we are directly giving a uh, string value okay now there is again an error yes we have to uh, declare a try catch block as there is a chance of uh, creating exceptions okay now create a try catch block here and give a message to print uh, the exception if any okay now we have to set the message uh, name okay so let it be this one now i am going to copy all the name from here 
and paste it here okay yes uh, this is enough to read uh, the message now uh, with this msg message object we have to get uh, the details like the message uh, from email from a uh, name uh, the subject body everything okay yes now let's uh, declare some basic string here so we can get the values inside the stream okay so it will be like uh, from email string uh, from name string uh, subject string body okay so these uh, let uh, these strings carry uh, the required information as i have mentioned from email from uh, so that we can get the from email as msg dot get from email okay it's as simple as that and same way msg dot uh, uh, name from name will fetch you the from name and the subject we can get as uh, msg dot get subject and same way we can get the message dot uh, get body okay so get body so we have to get the body as text to get or complete information correctly okay now i'm going to print all these values so oops there is an error here so so from email is uh, this one and same way from name subject and body okay yes it's done it's all done it's all uh, ready for running so let's try running it as java application yes you can see here the complete message has been read it so, uh, let's try opening this mail from outside yes it's already open as you can see here this is the message from hi all and this complete information has been read here okay you can see here the complete message has been read so this is the from email let's see the from email here so yes the from email is here so and uh, the subject you can see the subject has holiday advisory may 14th and you can see here the subject is may holiday advisory may 14th and the body again you can see here hi all to uh, thank you here okay now we can see here the list uh, the two and cc uh, the list is very big and we have to get the uh, two and uh, uh, ccs it will be like two list so we can get the two list as a get uh, the uh, display two okay and uh, the same way we can get uh, the cc and bcc list so it will be like cc list and uh, the bcc list okay now the it will be like the display cc and uh, the bcc list will be get display bcc okay now let's try to print this value same here okay let me copy paste everything and uh, put uh, the two list here and uh, let it print here and the cc list here and let it print here and the bcc list here and they print it here okay now let's try running it as java application yes it has been read it and uh, you can see if i'm going up yes the two list is printing all the two emails which are uh, uh, we have here and same way the cc you can see here it has uh, printed all the uh, the emails which we found cc but you can see the cbcc list is empty because uh, there is no bcc list in our in this message okay yes now as you can see here we did not put the code for printing the attachment so actually attachment is a list of uh, attachment object so okay so let's get the list as it's from java util and it's of uh, type of attachment so attachment is from this one okay com message passer attachment and let it be list is equal to msg dot 
get attachment list you can see here get attachment list and uh, yes we have get the attachment and we have to iterate this list to get all the attachment okay let me write the uh, create the iterator and uh, i will explain it just uh, create a small iterator to uh, get all uh, the attachment listed in this uh, code okay now let's try running uh, this again to go to run as java application yes we have run it and the first one it's getting printer the size of attachment so there is only one attachment and you can see here the name of the attachment is getting print here so this is the name of the attachment so it's also correct and all other details as i explained below okay now let's try the another one so let me copy paste this one the message from here and uh, the part is same but the image name is different the uh, message name is different so i have just uh, opened i mean uh, put that message to be reader now let's write run as java application yes the message has been reader and it is also having one attachment and this is a from email and this is the from name so i let's try opening that one so you can see here the from name is ic notify and the email id email from which came is notify at the rate instant cash worldwide you can see here from email is this one and from name is ic notify and it is uh, uh, sent to this email id and there is no cc and bcc and subject is this one you can see the subject as uh, see this is the subject so it also read and uh, the complete information of uh, that uh, uh, message is printed as the body so this is the attachment agent is normal 180429 xls you can see here this is the one okay now the last one we have to read is last one so this is the last one uh, sonicball.ms yes this is purely an html email okay now let's try reading this one from our code let me copy this name and paste it here and if i'm just trying to read this it should you can see here the complete message has been read and there is no uh, attachment and this is the from email and the from name is the so this is sent to this email id and the subject is this one okay so hope you got this how you can read a dot message or dot msc outlook message using uh, java and i have shared everything uh, at the java file also so i i will share all these source code in my description you can have it and uh, please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching